we'd all like to welcome you to the celebration of Betty and Jan's 60th wedding anniversary. Okay. Now, to celebrate this occasion, we're going to take a little trip down memory lane. Your wedding party is a very important part of your day, and it includes some people who are very important in your life. So we're going to meet some of those people now who were a big part of that day. Ushers. Ushers make things run smoothly, and they are sure to put everyone in their place. For this most important task, they chose Denny's friends, Lauren and John. <laughs> <laughs> then there are the attendants. Those are the people who attest to the fact that they certainly did promise all that to have and hold stuff. First, Denny's cousin Clarence and Jan's niece Sandy. Do you ever use that flag? <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Benny's friend Gerard and Jan's friend Diane. <laughs> then of course we have siblings, Jan's brother Mark and Benny's sister Sharon. <laughs> Spit an image of Mara right there, that's right. Already seasoning the hunch over there. <laughs> then we have the attendants that actually sign on the dotted line that they promised, yep, through the good, the bad, and all the rest. Those special people, Denny's best friend and best man, Ken, and Jan's good friend and maid of honor, Grace. those cute little kids with the rings and the flowers. On this day, those cute little kids were Denny's cousin Scott and Jan's niece, Ruth. Did you repent before you put that on? Take it away and pass the record. I'll save the best for last. He repented. <laughs> for you, Trevor, I repented. That's good. I want to thank all of you for being here today to witness the wedding of Denny and Jan. To ask you to join them together as they enter in this amazing institution of the marriage. So please silence your phone. <laughs> Before we start, does anybody have any objections to this wedding? <laughs> I can't think of a better venue than the Rogers Event Center for a destination wedding. <laughs> Not only will this be a memorable day for the wedding couple, but for all of us in the one love them. We're gathered here to join. I mean, right in the room. Well, the right, the right now. <laughs> <laughs> they were shy back then too. <laughs> We're 
are gathered here today to join Dennis, Denny Steed, and Janice Jan Scrooge in Holy Matrimony. Was it destiny? <laughs> Total dumb luck? A blind date, perhaps? Who cares? One thing is that they are getting married, so let the fun begin. We are here to join this Osseo Oriole and this Red Wing Winger, united bliss for as close as we can come. They say mixed marriages don't always work, but these two will always become one Osseo Oriole, because after all, birds of a feather flock together. I have no doubt these two 100% German farmers will harvest a su good, successful marriage. After all, John knows how to drive a tractor. <laughs> I'd like to give you some advice. Always hide your money in a basketball or a football so you have something to fall back on. Never leave it in your wallet overnight. Your wife might find it. Never go off sides and always go for the two-point conversion. Jan, be thy husband's tractor driver and sidekick. Help him correct paper and be his biggest cheerleader. <laughs> Everybody, give me a D. 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 Give me a J. J. That, that Demi and Janice make it for 60 plus years. Of course they will. Woo -hoo! Jan, always kiss him goodnight and you will score 60 plus anniversaries. I'd like to share a quote from the book of Jan, Jan's diary that is. I wasn't sure about a blind date, but when I saw that tall, handsome athlete and future Osseo High School Hall of Famer, how could I resist? <laughs> now for the exchange of honor. Jan, do you take Denny to love, honor, and attend all basketball games? And help them on the farm till death do your part, then say, I do. <laughs> Danny, do you take Jan to love, honor, cook, do the laundry, and help with the gardening after basketball practice until till death do your part, then say, I do. If you say so. Remember, Denny, happy wife, happy life. I, by the power invested in me from Amazon and Netflix rent a preacher, I pronounce you his. Don't forget to pay the preacher before you leave.
You two were late. <laughs> very, very late. <laughs> you were very late. We were very, very sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I almost ran you over. Also, I would have bumped you. <laughs>